Welcome to labmiss.com. In this video, we will look at Port Profile Role feature on Cisco Nexus 1000V. By default, our VMware administrators are able to see and select our Port Profile that have been created on Nexus 1KV and published to the vCenter. Port Profile Roles allows you as a network administrator to present only certain Port Profiles to certain groups of VMware users for both security reasons, as well as making their job easier as they no longer need to sort through hundreds or even thousands of Port Groups that they are not really relevant to them. Here's our lab setup. So here we have two VMware users, John and Jane. John, who is a server admin, so we only want him to see server relevant port groups. In this case, it's a port profile with VLAN 32 on it. And Jane, on the other hand, who is a part of help desk, so we only want her to see a user relevant port groups. And in our case here is the VLAN 64 port profile. So here we have already have the vCenter open, three of them. So one, this first one here is for locked in as root. This one on the left is logging as John, and the third one on the right here is logging as James. So first I want to show you that being John, you can just let's select one of these VM here and go to edit settings. And we're trying to change the VLAN or port groups on the network adapter. And you can see right now, John can pretty much see all the port groups that's currently on the vCenter, including those ones that's on the Nexus 1KV. Okay, and the same goes, uh, the same is true for Jane as well. Okay, so the first thing we'd like to do is to restrict both John and Jane from seeing any port groups that's on the Nexus 1KV. So the way to do that is going to the networking. And here we're using our root account. And right at the, the top level Nexus 1KV folder here, you can click on permission. And you can see by default, both John and Jane's has the administrator role. So in order to restrict them to see these port groups, you can change them to read only. And We'll do the same thing for John as well. So read only. So as soon as you do that, and if you go back to our John vCenter that we have John locked in here, go back to the edit settings using the same network adapter we did before. You can see now all the port groups on the Nexus 1KV is really no longer there except the one that's already been selected, which is the VLAN 64. Okay, we can look at another one, which is our server. Go to edit settings. You can see here that VM VLAN 64 that we saw earlier on the Win 7 test one is not there now, but instead we have the VLAN 32 since it's already been set to the network adapter. Actually, we can also pick, let me go back to the server here. We can pick the adapter that doesn't, that's not currently on the Nexus 1KV. You can see right here, the any, there's no port groups that belongs to Nexus 1KV shows up on this list. Okay, so now that we can apply the restrictions we have to the next thing we want to do is to open up certain access to certain port groups to these users so now we're going to hop onto the nexus 1kv command lines and do show feature see by default the port profile rows are is disabled so we're going to go ahead and enable feature port profile roles and then what we're going to do is to show Port profile role users. And you can see the list of users that the Nexus 1KV pull down from or see for on the vCenter. So here we have the user Jane and John. You know, just to make sure that the Nexus 1KVs are aware of those users. Now let's go ahead and create port profile role. Port profile role. And we're going to call this one server port since we're going to take care of the uh, user that's part of the server admin first. So server port, every question mark, you, you do not have too many options here. You can put description and you can specify group or users. And these are the VMware groups or users that you want to inherit this particular port profile role. So for us, we're dealing with users. And for server admin, we said John is part of that. So user John. And then all you need to do is to select or go in under the port profile that you want John to see. So for us is the VLAN 32. Okay, and all you need to do is just assign the port profile role that we just created to that port profile. Okay, and just keep in mind that port profile can only have one port profile role assigned to it. So you cannot go in and assign another port profile role right here once you have a very specified one. Okay, so that's pretty much it for John. Then if we go back to John vCenter and 
Go back again to the adapter right here that we did not see any VLAN that belongs to one kivy, and now you can see V um, VLAN 32 port group shows up for John. Okay, at the same time, if you go to Jane, right here, locking this Jane, and go edit settings, to adapter one, and you can see the Jane do not see v, uh, VM VLAN 32 here. Okay, and you can see here in the background as well, there's a little reconfiguration for the port group on the DV switch. If you go back to networking and look at VM VLAN 32 and look under permission, and you can see Jane remains to have read only. On, on the other hand, John has a Nexus 1000 V row assigned to it. So just to finish off our configuration, we're going to repeat pretty much the same thing with Jane. So we are going to create another port profile role. And this time, since we're dealing with user ports, we're going to call it user underscore port. And again, we're assigning either groups or users. If you have VMware group, then you would assign it right here. For us, it's user Jane. And then we have a port profile. VM VLAN 64 and then we do the assign port profile role of user port. Okay, as soon as you press enter you can see the activity in the background, reconfiguration on the VM VLAN 64 and now if we hop on to Jane vCenter and go under edit setting with the network adapter 1, you drop down you can see that Jane now see VM VLAN 64 port groups that's on the Nexus 1KV. And same thing, if you go back to uh, root vCenter under VLAN 64 and look at permission, Jane has the Cisco Nexus 1000 V role while Jean remains a read only for that particular port group. So you can see it's pretty simple and straightforward, something that you can do to make things a little more manageable for your VMware users. And you might even want to in our environment here, we don't even lock down to buy who can see what VM. So in your environment, you might even want to do that just so user only see their relevance VM that they can make changes on. Okay, so that wraps up our video on Nexus 1000V port profile role. Thank you for watching labmits.com and I'll see you guys in the next Nexus 1KV video.